Uh, thank you very much. I don't consider CMCO as fail, but this is uh, the activity. You see, the activity that we are doing is a public health intervention, and we are taking all the public health measures uh, to contain uh, and to curb the, uh, the spread of the infection. Uh, more importantly, we do know the option of MCO or CMCO. Why? Because we need to strike the right balance between health and uh, economy, strike the right balance between life and livelihood. So the only best uh, you know, justification for this and to strike this balance is adopt the CMCO. Because if we were to implement the CMCO, uh, the, the cost of the impact of the economy is very high. Uh, so that's the reason why we opted for CMCO, but we need to balance it out. But more importantly is the collaboration and uh, uh, of each, the onus is of each individual, if they can comply to the SOP, particularly the social sectors. Economic sectors we know that because we want to allow the economic sector to continue to function, and, uh, but the social sector we can control. So if we, the, old, you know, the public has, can control and help the Ministry of Health to break the chain of infection. Uh, if, you, uh, if possible, stay at home. If you have to uh, come out from the house, uh, make sure that you comply to the SOP. So that's, uh, I think we can make it if we have the full collaboration from the public. Uh, this is important for us uh, to move forward. And you have seen that if we are using the CMCO exactly the same in, in Sabah, and we managed to contain, uh, uh, reduce the infection in Sabah, at least you can, uh, we, have seen, we have not seen an exponential surge of cases. Uh, we do have a surge of cases on the 24th of October, 26th of October, and as well as uh, 6th of November. But this is due to the outbreak uh, and the uh, uh, massive screening done in the prison, for example. So we have a spike there. So by uh, looking to Klang Valley, it's not in the community yet, but it's in uh, basically the construction site worker. So now uh, we have not seen uh, in any uh, uh, individuals uh, involved in this, uh, in, for example, in uh, near the cluster Daman Lela, but mainly uh, confined uh, to the construction worker. So, if that's a, uh, so, so far, I think the active case detection is uh, been done and the screening, I uh, continue to do the screening. Hopefully, we will contain the infection uh, within the construction worker as soon as possible. So, I don't see CMC, CMCO is a failure. It is an option for us uh, to balance out, uh, to strike the right balance. So, certainly, if you ask me, then we go all out for health yeah, and, life, uh, and life, basically, to implement MCO. But it's going to be very costly. So the impact is very costly because of that. We have to balance it out with uh, uh, CMCO. And so far, I think it has worked well, but it takes a, a, uh, a bit longer time as compared to MCO. Perhaps if you implement MCO, put everyone at home for two weeks, we can break the chain of infection. But because there's still movement, uh, and there's still movement, and that's an issue uh, that we hope that we can reduce the movement. And so now we are reducing the movement, we can see from 2.2 uh, down to 1.5, the infectivity rate. Now, it's basically uh, less than 1.1, but it's more than 0 0.9. So, it's hovering around 1. So, in the next two weeks, we can increase our activities and intervention. I'm sure that we can bring down uh, the, the cases. So, this is our projection. This is our modelling. Obviously, uh, most of you have actually read the Imperial College modelling. But the Imperial uh, uh, College modelling uh, uh, is also depend on our activity of public health intervention. So, our, if our intervention is good, for example, on the um, 10th of November, uh, projected about 4,000. 1,400 uh, cases, but we only have 869 cases. So, which means we are much, uh, our modelling is much accurate as compared to the Imperial College. But nonetheless, having said that, so we need to continue to step up our public health measures as, as well as intervention.